an anti-meat rally. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, it's, it, okay, generally that's true. I mean, generally that is a true statement. Not, it's not to say if you're a vegetarian or raw foodist, you can't have anger or aggression, but it's generally true that the more of those animal products that you take in, the more likely you're going to express very extreme emotions and uh, behaviors. And that's what the Hindu civilization has been saying to us for 10,000 years or however long you believe they've been around. They've been telling us that it, it's rajasic food, food that is like, you know, you feed your soldiers that food. You, you don't want to eat that. That's the soldiers eat that. And the way that the yogis had looked at this is like, hey, we're going to be up on the top of these mountains over here meditating in these caves and drinking spring water and um, herbs. And you guys just go battle it out down there over the valleys. You battle it out. Where are they battling it out over? Livestock farmland. Which the yogis are like, we don't even need it. You, you guys have it. Just kill yourselves. You know, that's kind of what, that's how it is. And, and then in between is the nobility, right? The people who live up on the hills. You know, the people who live up, way up on the glaciers, that's the yogis. In between is the nobility are kind of watching going, well, I think we can kind of move this chess board over here and that chess piece over there. And then down below are all the foot soldiers beating each other up and killing themselves. And what will inevitably occur is actually what has occurred in India. Because India is kind of the oldest civilization that's still around, you know, maybe you'd say either India, Persia, or China. But when you look at the whole situation, you see that they've beaten themselves silly. They have just beaten themselves so silly that they don't even know how to live in a noble life anymore when you're dealing with what's going on in the valleys there. You know, that could look like starving to death, no independent willpower. It could look like no innovative concepts or abilities to really develop a um, healthy way of living or a new way of living or whatever. It's just we kind of beat them, you know, we all beat each other up into submission. And is that what we want in America? You know, America is the greatest nation in the world because we are free thinking. And we have not beat ourselves up like that. We have not, you know, warred over each other so badly. I mean, maybe once a civil war, but so badly that we finally just decimated all the best and brightest. We